Tell me, Ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They pull my hair, they stole my comb. Well, that's all right till I go home. How do you like me hair? I had it done for my television appearance tonight. Is that a feckin' wig or what? It's not a feckin' wig. It's highlights. Did you have them done in the chipper? Jimmy got a massive haircut in the chipper and they threw in a bag of chips. I had these done in the hairdressers. You don't have to have your hair done in the chipper anymore. Dimna had our nails done in the post office. Things are getting back to normal, Emphysema. We can go to proper places now. Mrs Mooney next door had the Botox done in Centra. Fifteen euros... And she got a free chicken roll. Wasn't there an ambulance call to her house the other night? She couldn't get her eyelids to work after the Botox. And didn't she eat the sponge from the kitchen sink thinking it was the chicken roll? Holy Jesus. That's someone at the door there, Jeremy. Yeah, I know there's someone at the door. The best thing about the pandemic was that nobody came to our feckin' door. That part was great, all right. Any fecker can come to your door now. It's very annoying. Like, why can't they just stay at home? Is it the feckin' paparazzi, I wonder? Have a gawk out the window there for me. Ah, for feck's sake. Who is it? It's that bitch with the one leg again. Ah, Nancy feckin' balls. What's she doing? She's just hopping around in little circles. Like a one-legged ballerina. Everyone wants to visit us since we became the finalists on the best, worst family in Ireland. Feck them all is what I say. It's so embarrassing how everybody wants to be on the telly these days. Have they no self-respect? See what that pain in the arse wants, will you? Can you stop that feckin' hopping? You're making me dizzy. I have to hop so that I don't fall over. Well, sit down then. Oh, it's hard for me to get back up with the one leg and all. Such a winger. That's a huge foot you have there. Take an elephant's feckin' foot. It's from all the hopping. <sighs> you might want to do a little less hopping and a little more sitting, do you know what I mean? I have to break my new shoe in. That shoe is the size of a small canoe. What size do you wear? Never you mind. Or what do you want anyway? I'm very busy. I'm on the telly tonight. I know. I want to be in the programme. The best worst family in Ireland. I deserve to be in it. Why should we let you on it? What do you have to offer in terms of worst family? I have one flipping leg. Yeah, I can see it hopping around in it. So what? So I should be on the flipping telly with me one leg. Me Uncle James has one kidney and no fingers or toes and he's not getting on the telly. Just because you're missing parts of yourself doesn't mean you're getting on the telly. Who made you the boss of who gets on the telly? My talent. Now I'm sorry Nancy, but whichever hop off, I'm expecting to meet you at any minute. But, but I wore me good shoe. Yeah, it's lovely. Now bring it back to the museum that you robbed it from. Won't be long now. How do I look? You look all right, I suppose. All right? Is that the best you can do? You look a little sweaty, to be honest with you. Fucking sweaty? Jesus. All shiny like. Yeah, sweaty and shiny like. Ah, here's Jeremy now. Ask him how you look. Won't be long now. We'll be millionaires. Holy mackerel. Jeremy, they're lovely highlights. Did you have them done in the chipper? No, I had them done in the bleeding hairdressers. I'm not an animal. What's wrong with her? Dimpna? I don't know. She's all sweaty and shiny. She looks like she's after being in a fire. I got a facial at the post office. They fecked up me nails so they threw the facial in for nothing. Was it a postman who did your facial? He was, yeah. He studied on the YouTube. Poor fellow was missing half a finger. It kept poking me in the eye when he was doing the facial. Ireland is opening up. You can go to proper places now. I had a facial and my nails done for 12 euro. I know they affect me nails, but what do you expect for 12 euro at the post office? Ah, stop the lights. Here we go. Hello, million euro. Thank you, God, for the million euro you are about to give us. Remember, be bad, be the worst family in Ireland. Nice is evil. Do you hear me? Welcome to the final moments of the best worst family in Ireland. We are down to two families. The highly despicable Balzo Tull family and the evil Burke family. Now, we've already heard from the Burke family. That Burke family sounded very nice to me, Bunny. Nothing bad about them at all. We're way worse than them. Well, in fairness, their neighbours did all move away. Ah, so what, Bunny? The Burke's neighbours would rather be homeless than live next door to the Burke's. Now, a few final questions and we will announce the winning family. Emphysema Balls? Yes, Bunny? What would you do with a million euro? Well, I'd probably have a bit of an arse job. Just go down a size, you know... 
I'd have a big extension out the back, huge telly and eh, uh, oh, I'd like to travel the world, but only the nice places. And and I'd like to hire a young man to carry me suitcases for me. And if I'd any money left, I'd probably have my own toilet built out the back, next to the extension. And would you give any money to charity? No way. Sure am and I after winning it myself. No charities for me, Bunny. Very good. Now, Dymphna, what would you do with a million euro? Thank you for having me, Bunny. First thing I do is book a holiday to Budapest and have a boob job. Might even have a nose job while I'm at it. I'd probably have my teeth whitened too. I might even have the crooked one straightened. Then I'd make a film and put myself and Leonardo DiCaprio in it. I'd probably get a new coat too. And would you give any money to charity? Are you joking me or what, Bunny? I hate charity, no way. I'd return to me modelling career just for the crack, you know. Then I'd start my own fashion magazine, the Jeremy's Fashions. I'd be on the cover, of course, and inside would be me full line of unisex clothing, all modelled by yours truly. I'd probably travel, not in an airplane, though I'd travel on ships, big, huge ships. Might even buy one, call it a Jeremy. And would you give any money to charity? I will in me whole, bunny. It's my money. I'm going to need all of it. Sorry to all the poor people out there. Very good, Jeremy. Now... Jimmy Balls, what would you do if you won a million euro? Well, I'd get some new needles for me tattoo gun. There'd be a lot less suffering for me clients that way. Then I'd get some new trousers. Ones that fit proper like. And I'd probably buy part of a pub. Just a part big enough for me to sit in by myself. Have the points flowing whenever I came in. And would you give any money to charity? Uh, I might give a few quid to the ex-prisoners association. That, I'm afraid, is an immediate disqualification. Giving charity does not make you the best, worst family in Ireland. The Balls O'Toole family are out. And that makes the Burke family the best, worst family in Ireland. Thank you, Jimmy Balls. I want me million feckin' euro. Let me get me hands on Jimmy Balls. Bunny feckin' roach, give us our money. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You and your feckin' charity, Jimmy Balls. You ruined it for everyone, Jimmy Balls, with your selfish feckin' charity. I'm ashamed to be a Balls. I'll kill him and his feckin' charity. I'm Pat Savage, your parole officer. We know who you are. I'm sorry to say, I have bad news for both of you. Well, you're not getting another urine sample from me, if that's what you mean. I'm done with your urine, mister. I'm sorry. I can't handle any more bad news tonight, Miss Savage. I'm recommending you both return to prison immediately. Back to prison? No way. You are both fighting on television in front of the entire country. Bunny Roach is on his way to hospital. And Mrs Balls did that, not me. And if the siege hadn't said he'd give money to charity, we wouldn't be in this predicament. I'm sorry. I see no alternative. Emphysema, will you help us? Sick off. My career in television is over. Prison? How will I manage? Prison clothes. The absolute worst. Tell me, Ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They pull my hair, they stole my comb. Well, that's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty. She is the belle of Belfast City. She is a courting one, two, three. Pray, won't you tell me?